Hey everyone, it's Everything Ape here, and in today's video, I am going to be doing the Windows XP Survival Guide. Now, Windows XP is a 20-year-old operating system at this point, but there are still a lot of people out there today who probably want to know how they can use it or have some older hardware that uh, don't run later operating systems such as Windows 7 and Windows 10 very smoothly, and they want to know how they can run Windows XP. Now, I would recommend, unless you have absolutely no choice at all, don't run this operating system. Run something more modern like Windows 7 or Windows 10 or something like that because that will at least give you a more modern experience and not as un insecure as Windows XP is. But uh, in case you still just want to run Windows XP, well, that's what this guy will be for today. We're going to be taking a look at how to keep yourselves safe and secure on Windows XP, how to get on the internet and then maybe some other things. So first we'll start off with making yourself secure. Now, assuming that you have SP3 for Windows XP, let me just check if this has it. I just got this off the internet, so that's why it's registered to someone else, but not me. You have to have at least Service Pack 3. Okay. So the first thing you wanna get is Windows XP Service Pack 4. Give me a second to pull it up here. So this is basically the page where you can find it. It's at majorgeeks.com. I'll have the link in the description. But this is Windows XP Service Pack 4, an official thing. I'll pause this video and zoom in in editing so that you can read this, <laughs> all of this. But um, yeah, basically you're going to need to download this and you're going to find it. So once you download it, it should look something like this. Uh, this is version 3.1. So you're going to double click it and let it extract all the files. So after you're done with that, it's going to look something like this. Um, use the wizard to install the following service update. So you're just going to click next, agree and click archive files just to be safe and you're just going to hit next and you're just going to let it install so it's going to install and then it's going to prompt you to restart so you just have to restart it and then uh yeah so i'll come back once that's all two thousand years later okay so now we're done with now we're done with the service pack update and it says windows xp service pack 3 because this is just modified service pack 3 with the new updates look it says no information is collected that can be used to identify or contact you how times have changed. Anyways, so you just click help my pr protect my PC and go. And it should just go to your desktop straight away. And once you are at your desktop, it's going to have updated to Service Pack 4 basically. So you should have all updates from 2008 to 2014. But if you want to make yourself really secure, then here's how we're going to do that. So basically, um, there, so basically there's this other guy named i430VX who made this video on how to update Windows XP uh, with the POS Ready 2019 updates or 2009 updates in 2020. So what you want to do is you want to double click on this and basically let it uh, install the update agent 30. After you've installed SP4, this should already be installed into the registry. So, And once you're done that, you just need to click on this. So this is a Windows update mini tool by the same dude who did that thing. So what you're going to do is you're going to search for updates and it should find, well, right now it's not even working, so. Okay, so it turns out I was actually wrong about you need the registry key, so make sure to install this registry key because it's what links up to the Windows update server. And you make sure it says update service, Windows server, update service, because you um, need that in order to for it to install updates, so yeah. So once you're done, um, once you're done scanning for all the updates, scanning can actually take quite a while. You're, you should have about 120 updates just not installed, and about 200 just installed. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to click Select All and basically just let it install every single update. This is Windows XP Embedded Update. Um, so basically, it installs every update from uh, POS Ready 2009, which goes all the way up to 2019. So it'll definitely make sure you are secure. And once you've done that, you just hit um, install updates and it should start downloading and installing updates. So then, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So you have to wait quite a while now. So now the tool says to complete a system reboot is required reboot now. So you're just going to hit yes and it's just going to over the reboot. It's just going to install all the updates from POS ready 2009. So, uh, yeah. So after the reboot, I'll get to talking about browsers. Alright, so if you've gotten it this far, congratulations, you've completed the first step to using Windows XP every single day.
or daily, I guess you could say. So the next thing we're gonna look at is of course now. Uh, the there are no well-known browsers for Windows XP. My pal stopped updating, which was the last good browser before that, uh, way before that. Chrome and Firefox have both would, like long since discontinued support for XP. So you're only gonna have a few browser choices. Now I recommend for you not to trust any browser around the internet, but there's actually this very uh, there's actually this tool called the Roytam Browser Installer by i430vx, the same guy who made the Windows XP update patcher. And this allows you to, to install browsers in Windows XP. So you can see the best browser is New Moon, obviously. Uh, New Moon is basically the best browser for Windows XP. It probably works the best. You can even like install, you can even use Discord inside of New Moon. But yeah, Windows X, New Moon is basically just the best browser for <laughs> Windows XP because it's it's a modern version of I think Pale Moon, which is already based off of Firefox. So you can pretty much browse any recent website like if I go here I can literally just go sign in and you can see that yeah my Twitter account so old that it even uses my older profile picture and you can see that uh, Twitter actually works and it works with the modern layout uh, which is kind of a gross layout anyway but either way it still works which is basically just the important part is that a lot of this stuff just works and YouTube is obviously going to work on New Moon because if Twitter's working, be real, let's be real, YouTube is probably going to work as well. Uh, there are a lot of websites that are going to complain that Firefox is too old, however, and some websites just may not work just because of that. So yeah, just keep that in mind. Also, I didn't do that this right now, but I'd say um, install an antivirus if you're ever using Windows XP. Like You don't want to be caught dead using Windows XP without an antivirus because that's just bad. But yeah, I didn't do that right now because my mind has just been so frazzled for the past couple of hours, but yeah. So the next thing we're also gonna talk about is Now I'm not gonna go too deep into this, but basically a few months ago I made a video where I took a look at programs that still support Windows XP. So you can actually, there's a lot of programs that still support Windows XP as their earliest versions. So you can use those uh, and I'll, I'll link the description. I'll, I'll link the video in the cards so that you can check it out. Now as in terms of, uh, you can install an older version of Steam, Uplay, and some other, I forget what this last one is called, but I'll link another video. This video is just literally linking videos. I'll put a link in the description to Shark Vader's video, which uh, has information about how to get Steam up and running with Windows XP. I'm not gonna go too into depth about it right now because I'm just tired and I wanna finish recording this video. So uh, yeah, that's it for this video. If you didn't like it, don't subscribe. And with that, I'll see you all next time. Bye.